Hi everyone, we're back again and this time we are going to be working on our handwriting for our new letter of the week. So you need to go and grab your letters, words, and sentences workbook and a pencil to be doing this activity. Okay, so I'll give you a couple minutes. We are going to talk about the letter K today. That was our new letter of the week, so that's the handwriting we're going to be practicing. And just real quickly, I tried to put together Matt Man's K but some of his letters, um, some of the lines are a little bit too big, but this is what we're gonna be looking at for the uppercase K, three big lines. And then for the lowercase K, we have a big line down and then two little lines. We're doing that kick in, kick out with this one. So I know we've practiced that before, but this is what we're taking a look at today. So you should be open to this page. We're gonna do the lowercase K first. You need a pencil, so you'll be working with a pencil. I'm going to work with a pen so you can see it a little bit better and it's a little bit easier to write when I've got it up on the board like this. So make sure your feet are on the floor, your back is straight, your bottom's in your seat before you get started. So let's take a look at lowercase k. Now it has a tall part to the letter, so we we're up in the attic. So we're starting up in the attic and we're bringing our big line all the way down to the bottom of the main floor. Then we've got a little line in, kicking in, and kick out with another little line. Okay, let's try that again. So we've got a big line down. Starting here with the little line, kick in, kick out. And it's okay if it doesn't look perfect. That's why we're practicing. Big line down, kick in, kick out. And again, you're not going past this line right here because we're not going into the attic. K is just a taller letter. Let's go down here to the size that we are most normally going to be using with our writing. And we're going to do a big line down, little line over, kick in, and little line out, kick out. Let's try that again. Big line down, little line in, kick in, kick out. All right, we have plenty of room. Let's do four more Ks. Let's try that again. Not going past that solid line. Big line down, kick in, kick out. Big line down, kick in, kick out. Make sure you take your time. Nice and neat. Big line down, kick in, kick out. And then one more time. Big line down, kick in, kick out. All right, go ahead and circle the one that you like the best. I think I like this one the best. I think I did the best job on that one. Good job. Now you're going to go ahead and turn the page. So now you'll have your uppercase K that we'll be practicing. Uppercase K. All right, now this is an uppercase K, so we're using the very big area here because we've got three big lines that we're using. So we're starting way up in the attic, so we've got big line down again, just like lowercase. Then we've got big line over, so we're kicking in and kicking out. You can try and squeeze one more in here. We've got big line down, kick in, kick out. All right, what you want to try and do, I went a little bit lower, but you want to try and stop at the big line down right where the dotted line is, and then you're kicking out again. It might be a little bit easier with this case. So let's go down here. So we've got a big line down, 